Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can draw this piece in Autodesk Fusion 360. First of all, we will start with the base. So here we have a dimension of 40 units and then we have from this point until this point 34 units plus a radius of 5 units here as you see. So that means the total length it will be 39 units and after that we will apply a height of 7 units. So let's get started. Keep it in mind 40, 39 and 7. I will start with a new sketch, select this plan for example, go with the two point rectangle and now select the center rectangle. Starting from the midpoint, the first dimension 39, tab 40 units, enter. Now let's apply a height of 7 units. So finish sketch and go with the extrude. Drag this arrow with 7 units and press enter. You saw there that we have two little circles with a radius of 5, so we will apply with the fillet command. Press the fillet, select this edge and the other one, and press 5 units. After that, the next step. We have here a dimension of 60 units, as you saw, but it is actually 60 minus 7 units, so that means 54 units. The base will be 7 units and 40 units again, so keep it in mind. 40, 7, and 54. Start a new sketch. Select this plan for this time. Go with a two point rectangle. From this point, you can start. First dimension, it will be 7, tab 40. Enter. And now press the finish sketch. Go with the extrude. Select this area and drag it and write 54 units. Enter. For the next step, we must build here a circle. So we will start to construct the circle exactly from the middle and our circle will have the radius 20 or until this point in our case and the same thickness of 7 of course. So new sketch, select for this time this plan, go with the circle, center diameter circle, select the middle, yes, and until here. Good, finish the sketch, extrude now, just this area, just this highlighted part, and drag the arrow in the opposite direction and write minus 7. Good, after that we need to build another two circles, and inside we have a hole. Moreover, the height of our object will be 18 units. So, create a new sketch, select this plan, circle, Try to find the middle now, yes, exactly here, and our first circle with the diameter of 30 units, enter, and the other one, again circle, from the same middle, with the diameter of 22 units, enter. Finish the sketch, go with the extrude, select this surface, and drag it with 18 units. Inside now, extrude again, select this part and drag it all the way up or you can select here, all and cut, ok. After that, for our next step and final step, we need to focus on these two triangles. So we have the following dimension, 20, 20, and the thickness it will be 6. Moreover, we have here the distance between this face and this side, we have also 6 units. So let's get started. Ok, we will start through a new sketch. Select this plan and go with the line command, starting from a random point. And right here, 20, enter. Select again the line. Also try to construct a line with 20 units but press tab and write 90 degrees to be sure that it's straight. And another line from this point to the other. Good. Right now let's apply the sketch dimension between this point and this one. We need to have here 6 units. Now finish the sketch, go with the extrude, select this area and drag it with 6 units and press enter. Now let's apply the mirror command, so go to the create menu, mirror, and select the last operation, this extrude 6. 
mirror plan, select, just zoom out and select this plan. And now press OK. And our drawing now it's complete. Let's color it. So select the entire drawing, right click, appearance. And because our drawing, as you see, it's blue, we will write the same. So let's write here blue. And we have a bunch of options, but for example, let's select this one. Close. And here it is. Our drawing now it's complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.